Well, living things are amazingly organized, and what I'd like to do is just review that organizational scheme that comes up um, pretty much in all living things. We're going to be focused on, on the human body in this class, uh, but this is a true organizational scheme just in general for life. So the smallest unit of life that we know about is the cell. And the cell um, has organelles inside. We'll be seeing that in a later chapter. But for right now, let's just look at this overall layout. So cells can be grouped together in order to form tissues. Tissues then can group together in order to form organs that have specialized functions. And organs can work together in systems. We'll be looking at a lot of different organ systems, like the digestive system, for example, um, as we go throughout this course. And then organ systems work together to form the body of an organism. So this is a very sort of characteristic layout, um, organizational scheme in living things. What we're going to do is focus in on the tissue level of organization what is a tissue? We want to really get this down. Um, if we can get down what are, what are the major tissues, that'll make our job a whole lot easier going forward. So tissues. There are four primary types of tissues that exist in animal bodies. And each of these different tissue types has a specific structure and consequently function that it's able to uh, carry, carry out or contribute to the living thing. So what are the four primary tissues? We're going to be going through these one at a time. Let's just list them out to get started. Um, muscle tissue, this is specialized for being able to contract, that allows movement. Nervous tissue, specialized for sending signals and receiving signals. Epithelial tissue, this covers surfaces. Those surfaces could be on the outside of the body or internally, we have surfaces inside as well. And then the fourth tissue type is connective tissue. And this does what its name suggests. It does connect things together, um, but it also has some other special functions. So we'll take a look at that as we go.